Trump targeting judge's daughter sparks controversy. If you look at uh, what we just left, you had a you have a case which they're dying to get this thing started. The judge cannot go faster. He wants to get it started so badly. Hello and welcome back to the news media hands channel. Trump's delay tactics and intimidation seem to backfire with Judge Juan Merchant in New York hush money payments. Let's dive deeper into based on the potential impact on Trump's political ambition. As always, remember, we value your comments and feedback, and your subscriptions help grow the channel. Thank you for your support, and let's get started. Former President Donald Trump's efforts to delay his upcoming criminal trial in New York have met stern resistance from Judge Juan Merchant who has issued a series of rulings this week indicating impatience with Trump's legal maneuvers. Despite Trump's attempts to sideline the case over alleged discovery violations and to delay proceedings, the judge has refused to grant significant postponements and has even threatened Trump's lawyers with criminal contempt. The courtroom drama unfolded as Trump sought to leverage newly disclosed documents from federal prosecutors to request a major delay or the dismissal of charges. However, Judge Merchant rebuffed these efforts, opting to extend the trial schedule by just three weeks rather than granting the lengthy postponement Trump desired. During the proceedings, the judge criticized Trump's legal team for their attempts to challenge the court's decisions and question the evidence they presented. Trump's frustration was palpable as he left the courtroom, particularly after learning that a separate court had reduced his bond for a massive civil fraud judgment. However, any hope Trump felt was short-lived as Judge Merchant maintained the April 15 trial start date for the hush money case, prompting Trump to express his dissatisfaction with the proceedings and accuse the judge of hastening the trial. They're dying to get this thing started. The judge cannot go faster. He wants to get it started so badly. And there's tremendous corruption, Trump told reporters. In response to Trump's continued efforts to delay the trial, Judge Merchant issued a gag order against the former president preventing him from making public statements about certain individuals involved in the case. The judge cited concerns about Trump's previous attacks on those connected to his legal troubles, highlighting the need to preserve the integrity of the judicial process. Despite the gag order, Trump has continued to target Judge Merchant and his family, alleging bias and calling for the judge's recusal. Controversy erupted when former President Donald Trump targeted Judge Juan Merchant's daughter, alleging bias in his upcoming criminal trial in New York. Trump claimed that a photo of him behind bars, purportedly used as a social media profile picture by the judge's daughter, made it impossible for him to receive a fair trial. However, the New York state court system refuted Trump's claim, stating that the account associated with the judge's daughter had been inactive for over a year and was now under different ownership. Trump's unsubstantiated accusation not only raised concerns about the integrity of the judicial process but also underscored his propensity to promote online hoaxes to advance his legal defense. It's difficult to definitively determine whether Trump's targeting of the judge's daughter was intentional or based on ignorance. Given Trump's history of making controversial and inflammatory statements, it's plausible that he deliberately sought to undermine confidence in the judiciary by alleging bias. However, it's also possible that Trump was unaware of the true status of the social media account and made his accusation based on incomplete or inaccurate information. Regardless of his intentions, Trump's actions generated significant controversy and raised questions about the ethical implications of his behavior in legal proceedings. The former president's trial has several pending motions for postponement. Trump's lawyers argue that the trial should wait until the Supreme Court rules on his presidential immunity defense in another criminal case. They have also requested an adjournment separately for prejudicial pretrial publicity. An no fair and impartial jury can be selected in this county at any time in the near future, including in April of this year. Therefore, the court should adjourn the trial date until the prejudicial media coverage subsides, Blanche wrote in the motion, which was made public Tuesday. The judge has not yet ruled on either demand, but he has been voicing increasing frustration with the tactics of Trump's lawyers as the week has progressed. In a written ruling on Tuesday, Judge Merchant accused Trump's lawyers of trying to bypass the judge's requirement that they seek permission before filing any new motions. The judge had implemented this step earlier this month, stating that it was necessary to save time as Trump's legal team had been repeatedly filing last-minute delay attempts. Judge Merchant in the ruling also recalled Trump's attorneys that he has the power to issue punishment for criminal contempt. The court advises counsel that it expects and welcomes zealous advocacy and creative lawyering, however, 
The court also expects those advocates to demonstrate the proper respect and decorum that is owed to the courts and its judicial officers and to never forget that they are officers of the court, Merchant warned. As such, counsel is expected to follow this court's orders. As Trump's trial date approaches, his legal battles intensify, with Judge Merchant's ruling signaling a determination to proceed with the case despite Trump's attempts to delay or dismiss it. The Hans geniuses, do you think Judge Juan Merchant's trial date will hold up against Trump's delaying tactics? Thanks for watching. If you like it, comment and hit the like and share buttons. Subscribe for future videos.